people that listen to WORD 98.9, I decided to make this for you. South Carolina has become the 29th state to allow what is referred to as permitless carry. Uh, they also sometimes call this constitutional carry, but what it mainly means is that from here on out, if you are 18 years or older and you can pass a background check to buy a gun, you can now carry a gun. And you do not have to have the permission of the state to do so. This is a very important thing as far as establishing the right and saying to us as the voters of South Carolina that we recognize this as a right. And uh, to be honest with you, I never thought we'd see this day, but I'm very pleased that we do. So let's talk about a few things that I've seen coming on the text line at Straight Talk with Bill Frady. And I'm just going to try to give you a few examples of what I'm talking about. So in this new land of permitless carry, what does this mean? What are the rules on this? Well, it went into effect on the 7th, as soon as he signed it. It allows individuals 18 years or older to carry firearms openly or concealed without a permit. Uh, I will show you the various holsters in just a second, because some of you have asked about that. There are no restrictions on guns inside vehicles. They can be stored anywhere inside the vehicle, openly or concealed. Possession of a firearm alone is not a reason to stop an individual. To make a stop, there must be a reasonable and articulable suspicion of a crime that has occurred. So they will not, law enforcement will not stop you if they see you carrying a gun. Now that there's no longer a CWP requirement, a CWP holder is not required to carry his or her CWP or disclose his or her status as a CWP holder to a law enforcement officer. Used to be if I got stopped, I had to let them know that I was carrying a gun. Firearms are still prohibited in many locations, including inside schools, churches, law enforcement facilities, including detention and correctional facilities, anywhere medical procedures are performed, courthouses, public buildings, and any place clearly marked with a sign prohibiting the carrying of a firearm that has to be within the regulations stated by South Carolina law. And individuals 18 years of age and older will now be apply, well, you know, you can now be eligible to apply for a CWP. So, what isn't in place right now, they were talking about the free training you're going to get. They haven't quite developed that yet, but it is coming. And uh, it will probably be the same training you would get as a CWP, uh, CWP holder. Um, I will tell you this. There are two reasons to still get a concealed weapon permit. Number one. I, as a CWP holder of the state of South Carolina, I am allowed to carry a gun into any other state that has reciprocity with South Carolina, which I think is between 35 and 38 states. So I'm not confined just to the borders here of South Carolina. Number two, I do not go through a background check when I am buying a gun. I don't know if that's going to change anytime soon. The only question I have about this permitless carry now is whether or not uh, an 18 year old can actually buy a handgun because you can carry one, but who's going to buy it? Or can you buy it now if you're 18 years old? I haven't had to worry about that for, gosh, about 45 years now, so I haven't thought about it lately, but that's one question I have. Now then, the only other thing left to consider for those of you, I'm not going to, there's two things I'm not going to do. I'm not going to tell you what kind of gun to buy. And I'm not going to tell you uh, what kind of holsters you need to buy. I'm going to show you the two types of holsters. Well, actually three. I'm going to show you three different types of holsters. Uh, and let's go look at that. So most of you, when you get your gun, you're going to get your gun. And it's going to be just set up as a, in, in a standard configuration, which means that it's not going to have a whole lot on it. This is a Glock 19 fifth generation, 9 millimeter, 15 round capacity. I keep it this way because it is very versatile this way. I can carry it a bunch of different ways. But my primary carry weapon is a Glock 45. This has both a red dot optic and a flashlight on the accessory rail. Um, it is heavier. It's still a 9mm. It's basically the same gun as this one except a little bit bigger. Um, so how do I carry these weapons? So first up, as a holster to carry a weapon, this is the Tenacor Arx R8. It's spelled A-R-X. This is a Kydex holster that is designed to... It, it's really going to ride close to your body. And this fits and it conceals the gun outside the waistband. Outside the waistband. 
a lot of you are thinking, uh, well, I can carry outside the waistband and I can carry in the open now. Well, I'm going to burst a bubble on that one, but for inside the waistband, now this is actually going to go inside your pants and clip onto your belt right here. And this fits this gun with the light and the optic and it's, it's ride very, rides very close. You're going to give a little cleaner silhouette as you're standing there. You're not going to be noticeable. With either one of these, if you're wearing under a cover garment, you're not going to be noticeable. That in and of itself, as civilians, is sort of what we want, right? However, for those of you that want to carry outside the waistband and you want to carry in the open, here's the problem. When you carry a gun in the open, you're going to be noticed. And it doesn't matter if your fellow citizen notice you, but if you're in a place where a crime starts to unfold, you're going to be the first one they're going to be keying in on. So, but if you're going to carry outside, if you're going to carry out in the open, uh, I recommend a retention holster. This is a G code XSR. This keeps the gun in here. It has to be activated by myself with this thumb depression that pops that loose. And then I can pull the gun out and deploy it. If I'm carrying in the open, if I can carry, if I'm carrying where everybody can see, I'm going to want a holster that keeps the gun in my control. There are other ways to carry guns as well that are off body, um, you know, and the only problem with an off body carry that, that would be like in a fanny pack or a specially designed backpack is that when you're carrying, you're going to find this out when you're carrying, you do not want anything to get into the trigger guard. This is how we have what is referred to as a negligent discharge. So, and that's just a quick primer on this. There's so much more to go with it. But there are places here in, in the broadcast area of WORD where you can get the proper training that you need to carry a handgun successfully. 28 other states have been doing it for a long time. As far as permitless carry, I'm pretty sure South Carolina can uh, do this as well. Um, thanks for your attention, and uh, I'll be looking for you. 989 WORD. See ya.